Good morning, East Alabama and West Georgia. This is Kevin Moon from God's Country. It's time for your primetime forecast on Dr. Don's weather. Now, here's my friend, Dr. Don. Good morning, East Alabama and West Georgia. Time now for your primetime forecast for your Thursday, March 23rd, 2023. We got a rather significant chance of severe weather coming up on Friday night. We'll tell you about that and this uh, gorgeous weather that's going to happen in the meantime. That's all coming up in this morning's edition of your primetime forecast brought to you by Jamie Ducas, your local alpha agent. Let me tell you something. It's happened again. Uh, Jamie was contacted yesterday, but yesterday by another Dr. Don viewer, and Jamie was able to save them money. Look, folks, you owe it to yourself to find out how much Jamie can put back in your pocket. It doesn't cost you a dime, and there is zero obligation. It's very important right now. It's like free money back in your pocket. With the economy the way it is, uh, it doesn't cost you anything. Why not at least just find out what he can do for you? And you can do that by scanning that QR code on the screen. You can click the link at the top of this video, or you can do it the old fashioned way and give Jamie a call at 256-831-7770. Jamie is a good old boy from Woodland, Alabama. He's honest and he's gonna treat you right. And he really, really gets excited when he hears from Dr. Don viewers all across the East Alabama area. So uh, he says, he says you guys are top priority in his office. So get in touch with him today and let's find out how much Jamie Ducas can save you with Alpha Insurance. All right, we got a lot to talk about. First thing, very important, make sure you go to our YouTube channel and hit that subscribe button and click that little bell so that if we have to go live Friday night into Saturday morning to cover severe weather, you'll be guaranteed to get that push notification. No weather woes today. It's going to be a gorgeous Thursday. You see the beginning of our next storm system, though, out there across Texas and Oklahoma. As we head into your Friday, that gets a little bit closer, and we get a moderate risk category there across Arkansas, Mississippi, and Louisiana. Then beyond that, we have the enhanced risk that makes it all the way into northwest Alabama. And then a slight risk that makes it all the way into East Alabama. I think, though, by the time tomorrow morning gets here, uh, when we do the forecast tomorrow, I think we're going to at least see that yellow a little further east. That enhanced risk area probably makes it to about Birmingham. And then that moderate risk category could make it all the way over to the Alabama-Mississippi state line. So I... I'm saying that I think this entire area will shift east uh, with our next update from the Storm Prediction Center. So, you know, you hear me say this quite often. I compare weather systems to do I think this is going to be a red letter day or not? And I think that right now, given the data that we've got, there is, a, I'm a little hesitant to go full blown red letter because of the timing. It's going to be coming through during the coolest part of the night. But I think this may be one of those rare instances where uh, the cooling of the night's not going to make a whole lot of difference. Um, so I'm thinking that this certainly has the potential of being a red letter day, even though it's going to be happening at night, uh, weather set up for East Alabama and West Georgia. So I'm trying to put a little emphasis on this. This could be significant. Uh, we'll know more by tomorrow morning, and we'll share that with you here on Dr. Don's weather. And as we take a look at Saturday, the storms move on off into middle Georgia. Here's the latest graphic from the National Weather Service, and you see that in Enhanced risk makes it all the way over to about Tuscaloosa. I apologize, guys. This pollen is still um, throwing me for a loop. Uh, but anyway, the uh, enhanced risk area makes it as far east as Tuscaloosa, maybe Demopolis. Uh, this is on the current forecast. Then we have that slight risk category that uh, extends all the way over into central Randolph County. And then we have that marginal risk uh, from places like Rock Mills down to Auburn and Eufaula. Uh, but again, I think by this time tomorrow morning, that's all going to shift a little bit to the right. The timing on these storms uh, right now, it looks like after midnight Friday night, uh, probably between about 2 a.m. and 8 a.m. Saturday morning. Does that mean it's going to storm that entire time? Absolutely not. That's just the window of opportunity for the line of storms to move through. It could move through any time between 2 a.m. and 8 a.m. Saturday morning. We'll have a better idea on the timing uh, coming up for you tomorrow morning.
with current conditions at the East Alabama Bee Company. We got 48 degrees currently. The high temperature yesterday was 74. Currently have fair skies. The wind is calm. Humidity is 95%. The barometric pressure 30.23. No rain the past 24 hours. Sunrise this morning at 639. The sun sets at 656 p.m. You can stop by ML Aubrey's in downtown Roanoke and Randolph Farmers Co-op. Be sure, you see what I did right there? Be sure you tell them Dr. Don sent you and uh, as you pick up some of that delicious East Alabama Bee Company honey. 79 will be the high this afternoon in Roanoke, Ashland, Lineville, 78 in Wedowie and Woodland, 82 in Franklin, LaGrange will go to 82, and we'll top out at 80 degrees down in Valley, Alabama. Here's your six-day forecast from the Alpha Weather Center. Jamie Dukas, your local Alpha agent, mostly sunny today, 79. How about 83 on Friday under sunshine? Clouds will start to increase late in the afternoon. Showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Some storms could be severe with all modes of severe weather possible, including tornadoes. That will continue through sunrise on Saturday. I think we see sunshine Saturday afternoon with a high near 80. Sunny most of the day on Sunday, but storms return Sunday afternoon, 79. Stormy Sunday night. Right now, I don't think we're looking at significant severe, but it's still too early to tell. And that'll linger into Monday morning, maybe a few showers Monday night into Tuesday. And I think we clear up by Tuesday afternoon into Wednesday of next week. Southern Union State Community College live Doppler HD radar this morning, scanning from Birmingham, showing no precipitation across East Alabama or West Georgia. Don't forget to follow us over on Twitter at DSTREN1040. We broadcast all of our weather information on Twitter, just as we do on Facebook, YouTube, and at drdonwx.com. Hey, we appreciate those folks you see scrolling on the left, like Genesis Weight Clinic in downtown Roanoke. They're one of our partners here on Dr. Don. Weather. If you own a business and would like to be a partner, all you have to do is send me a message on Messenger and I can have you started by the time we do our very next weather forecast first thing tomorrow morning here on Dr. Don's Weather.